Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Alright, before we get started, I would like to invite anybody who has not already to hit that word subscribe. When you do, give the videos a thumbs up, share them if you can, and leave me a comment. Now that all that's out the way. Um, give y'all an update. Not a lot going on today. I'm home. Um, my truck started making a weird noise and kind of acting funny. So, I, um got other transportation from my husband and I guess I'm going to try to contact the garage and get my truck there possibly to be looked at tomorrow. That's my update. It's always something when you own a, an older model vehicle. Okay. And, um, my truck is very seasoned. <laughs> I, I don't really like newer model vehicles. Um, my, my truck is a, an 89 model. So, very seasoned. Okay. All that out of the way. Um, I have been, uh, <clears throat> Working my fingers to the bone, uh, making uh, lap gans for the um, the residents of the the nursing home, and uh, so far it seems to be going okay. Um, we're gonna deliver them um, just before Christmas. And it's it's a Christmas present because a lot of these patients their their families put them there and just forgot about them. Okay, but um, sorry, gotta put my leg up. Uh, <laughs> um, I would like to thank everybody who is helping with this um project. Um, it's not just me. Um, I have commissioned quite a few others to, to help. Uh, one of the ladies at my, my husband's job, um, older gal, um, she, she crochets, but she, she can't really do it too good anymore because, She's an older gal, and her hands just don't work right, and they, they cramp up on her and all. But she's got yarn, and she said that she would like to donate yarn to make lapgans with. So, I have received that donation, and I would like to personally thank her. Um, <clears throat> another lady... <clears throat> So sorry, at my husband's job, um, she's a little bit younger than me, and uh, she crochets, and she graciously agreed to make a couple of the, the lapgans. Um, the, uh, the preacher's wife, um, my, my preacher's wife, she crochets, and uh, she has graciously agreed to make some of the lapgans. Um, uh, uh, one of the ladies at the the church, um, she has uh, she doesn't crochet, and she doesn't have yarn. But she um, has 
stepped in and has decided that uh, she makes these little candy Christmas trees. And uh, she wants to get uh, a Christmas card for each resident. And um, a bunch of other little things and, and put them in like little goodie bags. Yeah. And they're going to love that. And my mother. Uh, she crochets. And um, she has... I think she's made one completely and is working on another, maybe by now already almost done with it. Um, I've completely finished two and I have six more going. <laughs> I get bored with the same project over and over and over. So... I tend to um, put it down for a couple of days, start another one, and then I jump back and forth, and then I get tired of them too, so I start another one. So, I, I have a, a pretty short attention span. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's the updates on those, and uh Still need prayer requests for everyone that I, I mentioned in my last Wednesday video. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think that's all I got to talk about. Well, other than yarn. Um, okay. Okay. I got my uh, October uh, Mary Maxim kit, and uh, like I said, I'm I'm not too fond of the yarn. Um, usually, I love the yarn and could do without the pattern. Uh, this time, it's the opposite. I I could really do without the yarn, um, but I love the pattern. All right, let's get that. Mary Maxim. It's in a really big bag, but it, it it was folded over, so. Okay. Well, we'll just drop the bag right down there. Okay, this is the yarn. Yeah. Yeah, see the, well, it's shiny, but it's uh, Red Heart. Um... Red Art Super Saver. Got two of this here. Let me put my glasses on. Um, I'm sure everybody knows the stats on Red Heart Super Saver. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway. Okay. Red Heart Super Saver. It's a 7 ounce skein. 364 yards. And it's 100% acrylic. And the color here is soft white, which to me looks like a, a linen, either a light taupe or a linen. And it is a number four medium worsted weight yarn, or as some like to call it, Aran. Um, it takes a 5.5 crochet hook. Five millimeter knitting needles and like I said I got two of this um, this I like a little bit better it is red heart it is still rough but nowhere near as rough as the super saver uh, this is red heart hello gorgeous Now, those colors are gorgeous, and if you knit, that's what it looks like knitted up. 
So the colors play out pretty cool. All right, this is a five ounce skein. And I, I got two of this, okay. And they are 252 yards each. And it is a four worsted weight yarn. Did I say it was 100% acrylic? I think I did. Okay. Anyway. And the same stats. Five millimeter knitting needles. 5.5 millimeter uh, crochet hooks. And the color is Sedona. And it is Hello Gorgeous Red Heart. I do like this. Like I said, it's it's not the softest, but it's nowhere near the roughness of um, Red Heart Super Saver. And I got two of this one. Okay, now on to the part that I love about this Mary Maxim kit. The pattern. Now, it's not going to look like that because I didn't get those colors. It is a one strap over the shoulder book bag, book bag style um, purse or backpack. And it's got the pull string to put over the, the opening. Okay, it's called... Uh, and it's a, a Mary Maxim uh, pattern. It is called the Spinning Diamonds Bag. The reason why. Um, there we go. Okay, now you notice that the, the pattern's got a little diamond pattern on it, right? Okay, and this is what the bottom of the bag looks like. Yeah. And like I said, mine's not going to look like that because that is not the colors that I got. Mine will look like that. Which is still cool. So, I might just have to get some uh, other worsted weight yarn and uh, make it look more like the one on the cover because I, I like the way that the black is in between the diamonds. Um, but it, either way, it's, it's going to be a real nice bag and I think I will actually make this pattern. Okay. Now, on to what y'all really came here for. That was picks. Hold on a minute. I just remembered my blanket is in the other room. Okay, I'm back. I got my blanket. Um, there it is. Okay, um... Oh, we are almost done. Because after today, we only have three, count them, three more picks. Okay, so last week was number three. And for number three, I had that one which is uh, Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver, Patty Green. And I can show you what Patty Green looks like. That's what the Patty Green looks like beside the Leaf Green. I'm not too fond of it, but my husband loves it. Loves it. <laughs> Okay. 
put that down. A little warm in here. Okay, um... Before I do today's pick, I need to let y'all know. Um, after today, uh, my husband is off for the next nine days. Yeah. Um, he always likes to take a vacation at Halloween. Um, he says that it's because, um, I have, I have real bad COPD and it, it's hard for me to get out of the house and, and be out in the heat. So he says that right at Halloween is the best time for me to actually get outside and, and be able to do things. So my husband is off for the next nine days. I will still put up videos. Okay. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. Not like that. I will still put up videos, but I don't know what time of the day the videos will be going up. Okay. Um, might be late. Like I think today's video is going to be late. Um, I, I don't know how that's going to work. They might be early. I, I don't know. All right, on to what you came here for today, other than my ramblings. I tell you, if the Lord did not grant me with anything else, he granted me with crochet and the gift to gab, because I can talk. When I sit in front of the camera, I picture all y'all out there, like I'm just sitting in the room with y'all and we just talking. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm able to just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right. I got Mr. Bucket and he is happy. He's going to be sad when it's over. All right. Let's shake him up, make him dizzy. All right, Mr. Bucket, give me a good one. I got one. I had two, but I shook one off. <laughs> All right, set Mr. Bucket down. What do we got? Okay. Don't know what the color is, but number one. Yeah. Number one. Now let me see what color mine is. Oh, I like that color. I like that color a lot. Okay, it is uh, Premier Just Yarn Value in the color Goldenrod. That don't actually look like Goldenrod to me. Um, I've got Goldenrod, well, had Goldenrod in my backyard. I was going to do yarn dyeing with it, but then I found out my husband is allergic to Goldenrod. So, I can't dye with Goldenrod. I know some of y'all was excited wanting me to show what I did, and I, I can't do it. I got to find something else. Okay, but I'll find something else. Okay, but that color, they call it Goldenrod. Um, I'd call it pumpkin. It looks more like pumpkin or sweet potato pie. Don't that look like pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie or whatever, um, it, it don't look like Goldenrod to me, but that's what they called it, so that's what I'll call it, okay, but anyway, that's my color for the week, all right, y'all, I'll give y'all all my updates, the color of the week, showed you last week's color, showed you my Mary Maxim, uh, uh, crochet club kit, um, I, I think that's it. I think that's enough.
I'm at 20 minutes. This was supposed to be a short video. All right, y'all. I, I, I've got a few new subscribers, and I just wanted to give a personal shout out to y'all. Hey, y'all. I, I am really glad that y'all come over here and uh, want to join us here in Val's Yarn Room. Um, I, I like to cut up. I like to carry on. I like to have fun. Life's too short to be serious all the time. <laughs> all right um so um yep that's that's gonna that's gonna be all for today so i will meet y'all back here in the next one for <coughs> took too much of a breath in i will meet y'all back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in foul sharn room um, yeah, I don't have a lot of camera equipment and stuff like that, so if I mess up like that and, and like, choke on film, um, it's just gonna be in my video, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I, I don't edit my videos, and nothing on my videos is scripted. Nothing. So, okay, I truly do love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. I really do. And uh, do something nice for somebody, even if it's just a smile. All right. Today's number, I feel like Sesame Street, is number one. <laughs> Some of y'all out there are going to get that reference. All right, y'all. Get your crochet on. Bye, y'all.